What we're going to do now is define a site in Dreamweaver. And what that means is we're actually going to get our entire website and all of the files contained within the folder of that website within our files panel here. It makes it easier for you to open and close files, but there's also some magic that Dreamweaver does to help us keep tabs on all of our files. So this files panel is the most important panel in Dreamweaver. And we're going to define a site right now in this drop down list. You can see there isn't a site mentioned at all. And what I'm going to do is get a couple of websites listed in here that we'll be working with throughout this course. So let's go ahead and get that set up. First of all, you need to download the course files from the exercise files tab underneath any of the videos within the course. Included in the course files are both a start folder and an end folder, or you can go in and do it a chapter at a time using the chapter start or completed files. But what we want is a folder of Wanderlust travel files. Those are the files from the complete website. And that's what I'm going to tell Dreamweaver about when I get to this point. And then we're going to also create a second blank empty website, basically a folder on our system that will start filling in another area. So let's click the files panel. So in the files panel, we have this drop down and the little drop down arrow is what we want. And we're going to select manage sites. Now you're probably saying, okay, she's got managed sites right there. Why not use that one? That's because this doesn't show very often. When my sites are blank, it shows. So I don't want you to become dependent upon that link in order to get here. So we can use this drop down to go to manage sites, or we can go up to the site menu and get to the same thing. I usually don't move people into the new site area. It's best if you get used to the manage sites because I can guarantee you'll end up setting up more than one website. And when you're working in it, it's good to get familiar with this manage sites menu. So since I'm here, I'll use this approach and I'll click manage sites. And you can see I don't have any set up yet. So what I want to do is tell Dreamweaver the name of my website and where my files are stored. Those are the only two pieces of information that Dreamweaver needs. So it's pretty simple to set this up. Now, the first thing I want to do is notice I have a new site button right here, and that's what I'm going to do. Create a new site. So I'll click that button. The first thing I need to do is give it a name. So I'm going to name this one Wanderlust Travel. And I have a folder on my system of our course files, and that's what I put into the second area. So what I've done here for the local site folder is I've put it on my C drive or my hard drive. And wherever you put that copy of the course files folder, that's where you want to navigate to. So I'll click the folder. Mine is on my C drive. And I have it listed at the very bottom under Wanderlust Travel. These are all of my website files that I have available. So I'll double click that, make sure it's showing here. And if you're on the Windows side, you also want to make sure it's showing on the bottom piece. Go ahead and once you have that selected, once you've found it on your system, click Select or Choose on the Mac side and Dreamweaver will put the path in for you. Now, when we click Save, there will be a message that pops up and it's fairly quick because we don't have too many files in this folder, but just watch for it and you'll see the word cache in there. What Dreamweaver is going to do is it's going to save this information, the name of the site and where it's located so that every time we go to the files panel, Dreamweaver will understand what files it is we're referencing. So I'm going to click save and here is the site cache that disappeared really quickly. But you can see I now have a website listed in this area. While we're here, we're going to do a second website. And so I'll click new site once again. 
and this one is going to be called predefined. Whoops, defined. There we go. CSS layout. There we go. Now I don't have any files for this website, and our other folder was had quite a few files within it. So I don't want you to think you always have to create files before you can do this in Dreamweaver. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder. So I'll click on the folder and I'm going to create a new folder on my system called predefined CSS layouts. Let's get the T in there. There we go. And that is the folder I'm going to specify for this particular website. So it's just a completely empty folder. I'll double click that to select it and click select or choose if you're on the Mac side. I'll click save and now we'll see two different sites defined within the manage sites area. So I'll click done. And what Dreamweaver is going to do is show me one of those sites within the Files panel. Right now, this is fairly small, so you can see if I move this over, I can see the full name of it in the Files panel. So I'll leave it up to you. As long as you can see the beginning, you're in good shape, because all you want to do is differentiate these between one another. Now the other thing that always happens when you set up your sites is you can see you can't really see it unless you hover over. So I'm going to put my cursor between local files and size and just move that over a little bit so I can see more of the name. That helps me out because once you add files in here, it's going to be very narrow as well and you won't be able to differentiate them. So there's nothing in our predefined CSS layouts website right now. Let's switch over and I'll click this drop down and notice we have Wanderlust Travel now. So I'll move over to that website and there's quite a few files within this area. Now depending upon the chapter files you've chosen or the files from the exercise files listing, you may or may not have the exact same files as mine or have everyone in the list. But you do want to be able to see something approximately close to what I have listed here. And now you can see why I want to move this area over between local files and size so I can see a little bit more of the names of the individual pages. Now this files panel is absolutely crucial for working in Dreamweaver. It allows you to open files, you can move files, and what I'll do is move a file here. Watch what happens if I take About Us and I drag it up into the Flash folder. This is what's cool about defining a site. What happened is Dreamweaver says, wait a minute, you've got links between some of these files right here. And when you move this file, those links would be broken. Do you want me to update those so that they will stay linked up despite the fact that I moved this file? And I will definitely click Update. Now the About Us is within the Flash folder. When you're working on the web, moving your files around, you never want to do through your operating system. So you don't want to use Finder or just click and drag files around outside of Dreamweaver for your website once you've set it up and you've got your links all, all intact. Dreamweaver will keep track of that for you. So this is where you want to do that. In order to move a file out of a folder such as this one and put it back out at this level, what I'm going to do is click on it and drag it on top of the uppermost folder. When I let go, I get another notice. Dreamweaver says, wait a minute, you're moving it again. I can update it for you. Just click the button, update, and now I know that everything within my pages is still working correctly. Dreamweaver does a great job as long as you stay in this files area. Now this second drop down here next to the name of the website, it says local view and there are some other options. So if at some point you accidentally click this and all of a sudden it looks very different. If I go out to remote server, you can see 
all of a sudden my files are gone. Just double check, we are going to stay in local view here always. So just double check that second drop down just in case you bumped it and moved it into a different area. But what we just did was defined two websites in Dreamweaver. The first one is an empty folder and now we can move in and add more files to it. The other one was our Wanderlust Travel website, which has files already within the folder, so you can use either method. Dreamweaver just has to know the folder that's going to contain all of your site files. As soon as you do that, every time I open Dreamweaver, these will be available. So this isn't something you do every time you open Dreamweaver. As soon as the website's been set up in Dreamweaver, it's always here when you open the program. So that is how you define a local site within Dreamweaver in order to get all of your files showing up within the Files panel so Dreamweaver can help you maintain your hyperlinks and your paths to everything within your website. So we just defined two local sites in Dreamweaver.